our snakes struggle for another piece of the action. And no one has been prosecuted for collateral murder. Here we are. Today we're going to have a little bit of a teach-in on what the United States is doing. Barack Obama, why you know treat Bradley Manning like a human being? Roast pork. Oh no, hang on. The reason we're here is because Bradley Manning, amongst other things, was held for nine months at Quantico. Bradley Manning and Julian Assange, here's two people that told the truth. It's through compliance and docility that the 1% rule. The classified information released by WikiLeaks, they don't want you to know what Bradley Manning allegedly released. <laughs> Sorry. Over the course of the evening, we'd be woken regularly by guards, sleep was constantly interrupted. We'd like to talk to a US consulate official. We've been here for an hour and a half. We've explained why we're here. It's a powerful stuff, you should try it. All right, so it's the next day. We've come back unexpectedly. We decided um, to leave yesterday because there were too many cops. We would come back when there weren't any, and there aren't. There might be later, but um, that's not our problem. We're here in solidarity with the actions they're doing at Obama's office. Spiritual. What else people inside don't realise is they're destroying the future for their own kids. Department of State. There's so many cops here. The usual protest idea. You turn up, you protest, you go home, you said your piece, you go back to sleep. Someone should come down. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll make some phone calls and see what's going on. Excellent. Thank you. Um, we can't guarantee that anybody's going to come down. Ah. Do you like one? No thanks. Some dudes. What are you hoping to achieve today? We would like to speak to the United States consulate officials okay. and express to, him, to them that if Manning did do what he's alleged to do, they should be protecting him, not torturing him. A few of us had to go, um, so there's still one, two, three, four, five, six of us here. We can educate those that tap into the conversation. So, how do you guys feel with someone in your People up at the US consulate are definitely not interested in uh, talking to us. I'm prepared to get arrested. It's, it's really insulting. They're in our country. They're using our troops to wage their war of terror. They're hunting Assange. They're conducting extrajudicial killings. They have killers. They're using drones. They want a base in this country. And they're torturing Manning who has done the greatest service uh, to this planet in my lifetime. So, um, free Bradley Manning. Thank you. You are supporting a government that commits torture, extraordinary rendition, extrajudicial killings, torturing their own citizens. We're not leaving. Do you understand that you're supporting a government that is committing crimes against humanity? Does that not concern you? We have to stop supporting a government that is torturing and killing people. We also provide free floor polishing. Uh, hey, he's actually he's he's a he's a photojournalist. Yeah. <laughs> Since when do you drag media? Okay. Right, so taking the people out one by one. They are torturing their own citizens. I think I'm going to get dragged in a second. Well, I'm getting dragged out. Cops in dragging our people out need a woman in the face. Need her in the fucking face. What, what's up with that? What's up with that, cops? What's up with that, the police? What's up with that, Victoria Police? What's up with that, the authorities? What's up with it's that? It's a security big, state. It's a security state. I don't feel very secure. My female pals are getting kneed in this fucking scone. Apparently, people uh, overlooking us at a sort of a mezzanine level were watching people being dragged away and were uh, obviously horrified by what they were seeing. 
good. What's going on with your hand? Is it? Oh, oh it's just in, in, throbbing. He kind of bent my thumb backwards trying to get me. Oh to yeah, cool. Doing his Steven Seagal shit on you, yeah. Okay, so we just got like fully. One of the cops just fully grabbed our arms and dragged us out. They, right. Well, three cops on either side, and there was a whole heap of people watching from upstairs as they did that. Right. And a couple of people looked quite distressed. They moved in on us and ripped. Yeah. We were holding on to each other. They tried to grab this. They moved in and completely ripped us apart. Need Sarah yep. twisted my face. arm. Need you in the, in the. Hang on, yes. can you tell me you what? Oh, he just walked towards me to get Sam and just kind of just give me a nice knee in the face on the side. Ooh, Braveheart. Oh, freedom. We're demonstrating something here that you've got to use your power. If you don't, it goes away or sits um, sort of idle. Maybe it sits idle like compost and the longer it, it, it sits there festering and steaming in the noonday sun, the, the more, I suppose, nutritious isn't the right word. Who eats compost? Am I right? It's a pretty bad metaphor, but I'm going to go with it. 